Okay, so now we're gonna try something else. We're gonna see how to add text to an existing HTML element. So we have done so far, we have changed uh, content, we have changed attributes, and now we're gonna add text. Okay, so there are several ways of adding text. We can add text at the end of a, uh, an element. We can add text at the beginning of the element. And also we can add text in the middle, right after uh, another element. Okay, we're gonna create a uh, button and we wanna add some text at the end of the Microsoft div. Okay, so once we click on that button, we're gonna see some text coming up right after the link. Okay, so first let's create that uh, button. I'm just gonna duplicate that and let's uh, give it an ID. For example, add the text. Okay. Let's put some text there, add text, all right. Now, we're gonna write some code so that we can access the uh, button and say, in the event of clicking on the button, add some text at the end of the Microsoft div. So let's access the uh, button first, okay. So we're gonna use the ID of the button, add text. And the event is click. And then between parentheses, we're putting everything there. And then we need the function. And then we're putting the code of the function between the curly brackets. So now we're gonna access the Microsoft div, okay, using the ID of the div. Okay, so Microsoft. And the function we're gonna be using to add text at the end of the div is called append. So what this function is doing is gonna be taking a parameter, okay? And uh, whatever we are putting uh, inside the uh, strings is gonna add this HTML code to the Microsoft div. So let's try something. Let's try to add a list, an, an ordered list. So for example, um, let's add, let's have some uh, list items, some car makes, um, so for example, BMW, Audi, and Mercedes. Okay, we need the ID of Microsoft, okay. So the ID of the button is add text without the number sign. So now if we try again, it's supposed to work. And we can see that um, when we click on the button, that's the uh, an order list is added to the end of the of the div. And if we click again, it's uh, we're adding another an order list. So you, you can avoid this uh, overflowing of uh, the uh, text by changing the height of the green box to auto. Okay, so now if we try again, you can see that when we add the text, okay, we can see that it looks better. Also, we can um, move the buttons to the top so that it looks better. Let's have all the buttons just before the uh, Facebook div. Okay, let's refresh. Now, if we add some text there, we can see uh, the unordered list um, being added to the uh, end of the Microsoft div. Okay, so now we can, uh, we're gonna try something else. So let's say if we want to um, add the same unordered list to the beginning of the div. So uh, there will be a small change. So rather than using the append uh, method, so uh, we're gonna use the uh, prepend method. So let's just comment this and just copy the code and change this to prepend. And if we try it again, so now the another list is added at the beginning of the div. All right. Also, we can uh, add the another list uh, right after a certain uh, element or right before a certain element. So let's, um, let's say we want to add uh, the another list right after the Microsoft um, paragraph. 
this paragraph here. So first of all, let's give it an ID. So if you go to the paragraph, let's give it an ID and call it Microsoft Paragraph. And so actually we don't need to have this. So we can uh, we can comment only the statements. Okay, let's keep. Let's uncomment that one. Let's just comment these two statements for now to avoid any mistakes. And now we're gonna write some other statements. So we're gonna access the uh, Microsoft uh, paragraph. Okay, and then we're going to use another method it's called after okay and we're going to put the html code inside the uh, quotes so let's add a paragraph and just call it um, just put some text there new paragraph we need to use the id of the paragraph using the number sign okay let's not forget that and now if you click on the button we can see that we're adding the new paragraph uh, just after the Microsoft div. And we can do the same thing if we want to add a paragraph just before the Microsoft div. So rather than using after, we can use before. All right. So that's how we change um, HTML um, uh, content and uh, add attributes. In the next video, you'll learn uh, how to change uh, styling uh, using jQuery.